Yo guys, what is going on Timpus here? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a really cool eSports mascot styled text in Illustrator. It's really, really good. Um, so yeah, um, I've just been practicing on Illustrator recently and um, I really do like it. So um, yeah. I'll just be showing you guys how to make some cool text um, in Illustrator that you can use for mascots uh, or maybe just YouTube banners and stuff like that but um, other than that guys I've got the new Timpers merch I'll just show you right there as you can see this is the hoodie version it's really nice it's printed really nicely as you can see um, it's a little bit creased I'm sorry but yeah um, I've got it it's in the store so if you guys want to get it Make sure you do so. There's also other things you can get in the merch like t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts and stuff like that. So if you guys want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description. But yeah, uh, if we could break 250 likes on this video, that'll be amazing. Subscribe if you are new. And yeah, let's get right into the video. Right guys, so we're here in Illustrator. So what you need is a 1280 by 720 document opened up. And the first thing you want to do is get the rectangle tool and choose a color. I think I'm going to go with probably like a, a dark blue, something like this. And you want to make like a rectangle and this is actually where the text is going to go. Um, so we'll probably end up changing the size and stuff but for now that is what it looks not like. So what you want to do now is press Control c Control v to duplicate it, bring it below it and then make it a bit smaller so about this size, something like that and then you want to go to this which is the direct selection tool click on this corner and hold shift and click on the other one and then you just want to drag let's try that again hold shift and click on each corner in fact now nah, I've done that wrong sorry guys um, what you want to do is just click on one of the corners hold shift and bring it inwards like so and you want to do the exact same but it's going to be hard to get the exact same um, direction that it's going in so what I like to do is just duplicate it so what I do is do this and delete the other half by going to the shape builder tool and delete that half and then just normally just delete that and then press ctrl c ctrl v and then right click transform reflect 90 and there you go but there is actually a, an outline on this so I'm just going to remove that by going to none so there we go looking nice and this gives it like a little 3d effect I'm just going to move that in um, so you can just check to see if it's all lined up so that's perfect and the next thing you want to do is just highlight it all go to shape modes and unite so it's all one shape now now the next thing you want to do is add the text in the middle so um, just go to the text tool click and I'm just gonna put name and then um, I'm just gonna go to properties increase the size to as big as you want um, but I'm gonna try and fill in the whole thing I might just do this And you can also choose whatever font you want, but you want to make sure it's quite a bold font because that's the type of style we're going for, quite bold. And obviously it doesn't fit, so I'm going to increase the spacing by going down here and just clicking and holding until it gets about right. I'm going to choose a different font as well. So um, the font that I'm going to be using is called, I'm just going to type it in. Or let me ev evogria yep there it is and it's a really bold font very good for mascots and stuff like that and I'm just going to increase the spacing again now I'm going to move it along just so it's even look it won't be perfect but anyway what you want to do now is actually change the, the color to whatever you want and I'm going to go with like a gold effect, you know, so that probably is nice. And I might change the colour of the background to something a bit darker. 
And now the next thing you want to do is go to layers, add a new layer, and across the middle we're just going to add like a, a little highlight. So do something like that, change it to white, or you can add a shadow to it and just make it black. And then you want to hold shift, click on the text, go to the shape builder tool, let's try that again. I don't know why that's not working. Oh, I know why. We just need to object, expand, bang, and now we can do it. So what you want to do is basically just press minus on the outside and it's left with just the inside. And then what you can do is actually change the color to, you can keep it black like so. I'm just going to merge all this together. So yeah, you can keep it like that and then just like bring down the opacity of it. So like so. But I think I might change it to white to give it like a glowing type of effect. One thing I didn't do though guys is I didn't get rid of the white, white spots in between. So like here. So I'm just going to do that now by holding Alt and clicking and that's about it looking nice so yeah it's looking pretty cool so far the next thing I'm gonna do is um, I think what I'm gonna do is change the color of these two down here to something a bit darker like so that looks really nice and now what I'm gonna do is add a new layer above everything and with the pen tool what we're going to do is add some spikes to the text um, so what you want to do is actually uh, hold shift and click on both the text and make sure it's aligned with the end of the right, right at the bottom so that is pretty much the bottom I'm pretty sure nice okay so next thing pen tool uh, and then the layer at the top and you can add like triangles around the outside as well but I think I might just leave that and yeah I'm going to just add some spikes to the bottom maybe something like that and you've got to follow so you see how you've got this going in this direction you want to keep it going in that direction too Something like that. It's not going to be perfect, but it's decent. And then you just want to hold I and click on that. Oh, jeez. But obviously, it's got the highlight on it, so. Um, it's going to be a different colour because the lights shine on this and because this is like further down, going down, it won't have the highlight on so you don't actually need to add the highlight to this part. And then I'm just going to hold Ctrl C, Ctrl V and then maybe add it to this part here. You can always make it bigger if you want or smaller. Might make this one bigger. Hold Ctrl C, Ctrl V, maybe add one there. Looking nice, control C, control V. I don't think it's actually in line, so I'm just gonna move these up. Like so. What I might also do is move it below the text and then what I'm gonna do is just get one of these control C control V right click transform reflect 90 and then bring it to the other side just do the exact same I just use that one
And then just do the exact same for the rest. And yeah, there you go. You can also add more things such as like um, a white outline. I might do that right now in fact. So just go to the stroke, make it white. And once it's white, you can make it bigger. Like so. But um, I'm going to make sure it's round the outside, so you, you just got to go to a line. You can do center, inside, or outside, and that's what I'm going to do. You can also change like the, the way it turns, so like the corners, so you can have it round or you can have it like pointing out. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. Obviously, you can't really see the stroke because of the background, but... It does look good. I don't know why that line's there. For the stroke. Anyway, I'll fix that, but yeah. That actually looks quite nice, never mind. That looks alright. But yeah, anyway guys, that's the basic idea of how to make a nice eSports mask mascot text. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. And I hope you're all having a sick day today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.